nine on Instagram. But I'm like, yo, Kristen, so we're gonna talk about pressing. <clears throat> this is my segment, Tips from a Pro. And so a lot of things that I see that goes wrong, in athletics, you have to remember this too. All my athletes out there who are training, and this is something that a coach told me a long time ago when I was young and I didn't understand. This is very true. Whenever the hips go and the shoulder area go bad, you start having injuries, athleticism, athleticism declines really fast. So we're going to talk about pressing, <clears throat> and then I want to give you a, <clears throat> excuse me, give you a, a few quick important tips of how to clean up your pressing and why you're pressing and give you some keys to where you need to get to. So we're going to talk about um, anatomically correct. Hands facing each other is neutral. If I bring them up, this is still neutral. If I take them up, it's always neutral. Um, my elbows is a joint. So in order to make the joint a little bit stronger, I'm in a pressing position, if I bring them up to neutral and I pronate my hands down, now they're strong. This is straight across from my shoulder. Balance up here, cross straight across. So those are the balancing positions. If I'm pressing, if my back, if I was laying down right now, this is where I would be balancing. This is where I would take my breath. This is where I would hold my breath. This is where I would start my movement. So from this movement, we're going to talk about something anatomically. Straight across, if I close my eyes and press straight across, I can feel my shoulder base kind of squeeze together. Um, and it's going up through my clavicle and the upper part of my chest. If I go all the way down, keeping my hands the same way, I can feel my shoulder blades actually giving a little bit and I can actually feel them slipping back and my scapula rotating and it's going into my triceps as a stopping point. So in most pressing exercises, people want to come from here, if you come straight down. Now this is called the leverage of your elbows where you leverage into your chest. You create like a little diamond coming across here with the bar. So it's where you feel good or where you feel comfortable in your leverages. If I was with you, I would clean them up and make sure that your shoulders and everything is getting right. This is to get into your pectoral major and minor muscle uh, uh, from the uh, clavicle and from the sternum part of it and even from the rib cage part of it, depending on body angle. So I'll show you with the stick real quick. This is lockout. This is lockout. Imagine my back is against the thing. If I come straight across, where it's going to hit me in my neck, this is straight across parallel from my clavicle. Because I am trying to get into my chest, I leverage down a little bit. This is where it hits me in a bench press. And then I press, and as you can see that distance that it went down, it actually is covered in lockout by my elbows moving up, forward, back, and out. So this is tips from a pro. Um, once again, if you have any more questions, you can contact me on my website. You can also give me a call. My number's on my website. Um, I also have videos uh, explaining some pressing and other things like that uh, on YouTube. And you can look them up. They're probably under IFBB Pro or they might be under LG Fit 45. But I would just go IFBB Pro, LG Fit 45 and look at the videos. If you have any more questions, remember, you have to understand uh, where you're going and what you're trying to do when you're exercising. Just repetitive activity or the repetitive movements, people will assume, even the world-class pressers, world-class golfers, have to work on their movement patterns. I always have to reteach myself my movement patterns because you become comfortable. And then muscles that are dominant that shouldn't be in the, in, in the uh Exercise become more prevalent. You put in push into your dominant muscles, the muscles you're actually trying to uh, train. If they're not as dominant, or if you don't feel as comfortable, you will try to get away from them with body movements and stuff like that. This human um, machine is very uh, intricate, and it will do what it has to do to try to create the most ideal situation. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're putting it in the right situation, especially in exercising. Remember that. This is Tips from a Pro. Have a good day.